Maribel, uh, I just want to give you a quick shout out. Maribel, you have submitted what we call the gold nugget question of the week. So Maribel, awesome question. What if you have a project management system, but a client or potential client refuses or doesn't want to use it? All right, I love this question. This is a tools question. So in boot camp, we, we talk about something, it's called uh, people process tools. So what a lot of the things that we do, and what I did for years, was I started with tools. A new project management tool would come out, and I'd get so giddy and excited, I'd be like, oh, I gotta try it, and I'd shift my whole company to it. You know, I went from, you know, Basecamp to, to Trello to Podio to Teamwork, back to Basecamp, back to uh, Podio, then to something else, and, and you know, before you know, we're all back to Basecamp, right? So I've, I, I've done the thing where we, we, we see these tools and we get so excited that the tool is gonna manage our business. And so what we talk about in program, what we teach to, is we actually teach you to first and foremost focus on the people that are involved in the project. So you're involved in the project, your client's involved in the project, let's focus on those stakeholders first. The next thing that we're gonna help you do is focus on process. So what is the process that you use to manage your projects? The tool is actually something that should help you fulfill the process, not the other way around. Now a lot of us, what we do is we go tool first. We fire up Basecamp and we say, you gotta use this tool to communicate all this stuff. And we forget the people. We forget the people and we forget the process. What are you trying to get from your clients? This is a newsflash. Your clients will not manage your project for you. That is an individual on your team that is accountable for that, and they must know the stakeholders, the people on the other side of that equation. That is 90% of the success in a project, is making sure that you have the right people in the room and have access to the right people. The project management tool is important to kind of be the kitchen sink, to collect all of the information and make sure you don't lose it, right? And I'll tell you a couple of methods that will help you in that pursuit, Maribel, here in just a second. But the second thing is process. What is the process you're taking those people through from start to finish in the project? Do they know what that process is or is it all in your head? Do they know what to expect next? Do they know what the next step is in your process? If they do, then it's gonna help your project flow much, much better. And I advocate for extremely simple projects. Your, you know, your business is managing five, 10, 20 different web projects. Newsflash, your client's business is not managing 10 web projects. It's not their job to manage the project. It's your job to manage the project. Your client might be doing a web project once every three or four years. So the fact, if you, if you throw a client into a complicated project management tool and just expect them to go in there and manage their own to-do list and do this and that, it's a fool's errand. You're gonna have so much more success if you focus on the stakeholders, what they're responsible for, what they're accountable for, you coach them as a project manager, you then tell them what the process is that they're going through, tell them what they're accountable for, when they need to get those deliverables and deadlines to you, and how you guys are gonna to work together. And what I've always found is that a weekly standing meeting with all of my open and active projects works the best. Now in boot camp, we actually walk you through what that agenda looks like, but just take that gold nugget from me today. Weekly standing meeting. That means that when I start my project, I know when I'm talking to my client next, basically for the entire life of the project. Every week we're talking at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays. We know that as long as this project's active, we're gonna talk every week for at least 30 minutes. People then process, that's my process. Now the tool comes last. We use Basecamp to manage our projects. We're going to assign you a dedicated email address as part of our process. You never have to log into Basecamp. All you have to do, whenever you're emailing us content, assets, feedback, or that kind of stuff, we just want you to send an email to this address. What we found after managing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of web projects was that the, the more we actually uh, organized our business around our clients' existing tools, email and phone, the more successful we were. When we started trying to train them on complex tools like Affinity Live or even Basecamp for that matter, you know what that did was it took up project resource time and it created a lot of headaches later on in that project. So what we would do is say, look, you can log into this tool, but if you're emailing stuff, send it to this address. And if they emailed us directly to stuff, what we'd do is we'd reply back and forward that email into the system and then remind the client, do a little bit of training, hey guys, this is our process. Anytime you email us something, make sure you're sending that into Basecamp. Now, when we 
did our weekly meetings. We would pull up Basecamp on the screen share and we'd you know, be showing them the project actively as we're going through it. That was part of our process. And so your client, what you're having to do is coach them through that process. Do not expect your client to manage that project for you. Uh, that's not their job. It's your job to manage that project. But focus, I promise you, focus more on the people, the stakeholders, and the process, and your projects will be so much more successful. The tools very quickly become a distraction. In my 16 years in this industry, I have yet to find a tool that manages projects automatically, right? It just doesn't happen. Somebody has to be accountable for the project roadmap and milestones. Somebody has to be a pro accountable for those project meetings and deliverables getting hit as an individual, uh, most likely you. So hopefully, Maribel, that helps out a little bit. So people, process, tools. Focus more on that people, process side, and I promise you the tools will take care of themselves. If your client still says, no way, I'm not doing what you say, I don't want to follow your process, great. Then you're probably not going to be a client of ours. This is how we work. This is how we do business. Set those expectations in the sales process and your onboarding. And if you are doing it in a way that is beneficial to the client and the project and the outcomes, your clients will thank you for having such a tight process. I promise you, your clients want you to lead the way. Make it about what's important. Make it about the outcomes, not about them jumping through hoops. Great question, Maribel.